In this lecture, I'd like to show you an example of how to discover and exploit and a blind SQL injection. Now, a blind SQL injection is one that doesn't display any errors to you. So we've seen in our previous examples, uh, let me just go to SQL injection, and if I just put a single quote here, you'll see that it actually displays an error for me, which tells me that th this page is vulnerable and I can exploit this page with an SQL injection. In a blind SQL injection, however, it will not show any errors for us. So right here in the blind SQL, if I put a quote and execute it, you see that it's not going to show me any errors at all. This doesn't mean that the web page isn't vulnerable. It just means that the website might not be displaying errors and this page might have a blind SQL injection. In real life scenarios, I always approach the pages and try to discover exploits in them as blind SQL injection. So I never actually look for errors and I never depend on just inputting a single quote. The way I test for the existence of SQL injections is that I try to inject a true and a false statement and then see if the, if the page behaves according to the statements that I'm given. So if I give it a true statement, it should give me a valid page. If I give a false statement, it will give me an invalid page. What I mean by an invalid page is a page that doesn't look like what I expect. So it doesn't have to show an error. This will come more clear now in the example. I'm just going to put one now to see a valid page. So literally I'm just putting a normal user ID and we can see that it's given us a valid page. So it's given us the first name and the surname. And this is what the default, what a valid page look like in this web application. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to give it a true statement, a statement that returns a true. And this is going to be and one is equal to one. So this is obviously true. And when I inject this, if the page is vulnerable, it should still show me the valid page. So I'm, in, I'm going to inject it here. And one is equal to one. I forgot to put my comment here. I just going to put the comment. Percentage 23. And now, as you can see, the page is showing me a valid page again, showing the first name and the surname. So it's executing while I'm telling it. I told it one is equal to one. One is equal to one is a true statement. It's not going to affect the execution of the page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to inject a false statement. So I'm going to try to break the page, even though I'm given one, which is a valid ID. So my false statement is going to be and one is equal to zero. So that's going to be false. And I'm going to go in and inject it now. And as you can see, the page doesn't show the default valid page, even though I'm given number one. So you don't see any errors like we've seen with the normal SQL injections, but you can see that the page isn't valid. It's not displaying what it should display, even though we're given the ID equals one. So when we give a true statement, it's, it's given a valid page. When we give a false statement, it, it's given an invalid page. We can also verify this using the order by. So I'm going to put one and then I'm going to ask it to order by one. So order by only one column, which basically is a true statement. It's always true. So this is going to be my true statement and I'm going to execute it here. And as you can see now, it's displaying the valid page that we seen with the and one is equal to one. So we can also change this to a false statement to give us an invalid page. And we're going to ask it to order by a very large number. So I'm just going to put one zero 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 zero. So this is going to be my false statement. And if the page is injectable, then it should show me an invalid page or a page that I don't really expect. And again, we see a page that we don't expect, which means that this website is vulnerable, even though it doesn't actually show us any error pages about the SQL. Now that we're sure that this page is vulnerable, we can actually exploit this vulnerability exactly the same way that we exploit normal SQL injections. So I can just do union, select one, two. 
and as you can see I can display stuff in one and two and I'm gonna select table name from information schema dot tables and I've actually misspelled schema here so the exploitation part is exactly the same, whether it's a blind or normal SQL injection. The only difference is the way you discover it. And I recommend that you always approach your websites and try to discover blind SQL injections. So never rely on only using a quote. Always try to use the AND, one is equal to one, one is equal to zero, and also use the order by to try and discover this type of vulnerabilities because if you rely on the quotes, you'll be missing a lot of blind SQL injections that are just as useful as normal SQL injections.